Well, I better get out of here soon before they start making me clean and stuff. Darby, get your chores done. Ah, chores. As promised, I mentioned that I got a vehicle. I teased you about it. You made your guesses. And now I'm posting up the video showing what I got. I did this review yesterday. It wasn't as windy, so hopefully this part's fine. I'm gonna let you see what I got, but your guesses were pretty cool. Uh, first of all, well, what was I looking for? I was looking for something that obviously could tow the Airstream. Uh, second, it had to be better than the Venza. Otherwise, I would have just spent the 4,000 to fix the Venza. In this case, I could take the 4,000 and put it into something different, which is what I did. Um, my my things that I really wanted was, I obviously had to be able to store all of my stuff, photo stuff, gear, uh, the stuff that I need to take when I'm not at my Airstream. Uh, oh my, sorry, it's like windy. I'm trying to like block out the wind. Um, and you're about to see what I got. Okay, oh, also storage. And then I, if I wanted to do get something new, I needed to be able to go cool places with it. So this vehicle can go cool places. And, uh, and, and all in all, I learned a ton about uh, getting a vehicle. So I'm gonna impart some of that knowledge over videos in the future. And I did a review yesterday, which you'll see later, like kind of a, a Jarvie style review, a, a review from a photographer. So let's get down below. So <laughs> yeah, here in the, the bed of my truck. Um, yeah, that's what I got, and I'll roll some footage, but uh, I, I, I filmed it while it was clean, then I drove it and I got it dirty, because that's what you're supposed to do with trucks. Yes, I got a truck. Most of you guessed that, because that tends to be what's the best thing for towing, are trucks. And uh, this is one of the better trucks for getting to cool locations, and uh, I can do fun things with it later and that's I think what I'll end up doing is uh, taking a lot of really good pictures, uh, working with companies. Yeah, and the more we uh, do some fun things with this truck, the more cool places we'll be able to go. Better tires, um, shell, storage, lockable storage, uh, just all sorts of fun things. So I'm gonna roll uh, what I filmed yesterday and some of the other stuff that I did yesterday, including some off-roading adventures you'll see. But first, some review, then fun adventures. All right, well, have yourself a good Sunday. I think that's when I'll post this. It's a 2016 TRD Sport long bed uh, double cab. Is this what I wanted? I wanted long bed, I wanted a double cab, I wanted a dark color, metallic probably would have been my first choice. Also that dark blue that they have, is also really nice. I did not want red or the fiery orange or the or the khaki color, whatever they call it. I wanted a darker color. So I probably would have gotten a metallic, but I did want a long bed and I did want a smart key. I got spoiled with just being able to walk up to cars and just open them and hit the button and not have to get your keys out. Uh, that was important. And this was one of the only ones, and my guy checked all around. There were no long beds to be found we got this one. I would have opted for the off-road. And that's the one that they're showing off on, you know, Tacoma. Toyota was uh, showing off in all their videos. You've probably seen if you've been researching Tacoma. All the ones of it getting buried up into the sand and using crawl control. So I don't have crawl control and I don't have rear lockers. Um, but I do have a long bed. And why a long bed? Well, let's show you. This is the reason for the long bed. Because I travel, I take pictures, and I want to be able to uh, lay down in the back of the truck. The five-foot truck, not going to be able to do it. So this is this is photographer's life. This is I, I don't tent camp. I'm not going to put a thing on top. I have a really nice tent that I haven't used in four years. I did buy an Airstream. I traveled for two years around the country, uh, living on the road, photographing buildings, making a couple of books, and now I have a new project which will still have me traveling around from location to location doing this, which is called the Photography Decathlon. So, ooh, stickers. I gotta put a sticker for my company on this. Okay, I digress. So that is one of the main reasons for the long bed, and I love that it has the power outlet, and I just was trying this out. It's got a really uh, cool power outlet, so for a photographer, that's really handy. All right, we were just right there a moment ago. I drove down pretty fast. 
hitting those bumps uh, at a decent speed, 25, 30, and uh, felt totally fine. I, I, I wasn't, I didn't feel uncomfortable, and that's what it's all about. And now I'm gonna go up uh, to this road that's right up to the side of it, so I had to come back down to take this. So, here we go. The question is if it has the clearance. Alright, this is the kind of stuff it clears, right? Some pretty big rocks. So, not too bad. Not too many people will take the day old uh, vehicle out on trails like this <laughs> and do things like this. But hey, it's gonna happen anyways. It's gonna happen whether it's today or tomorrow. All right, we took one of the steps off. How was it pretty hard? There it is. It was like <laughs> ripping paper. <laughs> so, not the best. Product. I was about to, I was going to replace it anyways. I told the dealer I do not want that. And they're like, well, it comes with it. And I'm like, all right. I probably should have just took it off, sold it before I... Go give it back to the dealer. <laughs> yeah, here you are. Yeah, it's, it's, it's no bueno. That wasn't welded on very good, it looks no, like. It I think that's the problem. I don't think it's necessarily the weakest metal. I think it's the welding. Anyways, well, people can still get up on that one right there. Well, this looks interesting. I'm gonna try this out, but where do I put it? Is there, I wish there was a place to put it in my car here, or wait, here? I could put it here? They're just all away! Yeah, Look! I could just hold it. Oh, yes. Doing my domestic duties as a woman. <laughs> what? Only the best will do. <laughs> yes, that's my, that's my theory on life, too. Oh, it's this little smiley lemons theory, too. <laughs> Only the best for you, Jeffy. I know, that's why I invited you to come <laughs> four-wheeling with me. <laughs> Aww. 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 Sorry, that's the natural reaction. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're saying sensi something sensitive. I can't take it. I'm just going to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Don't mind us listening to Mariah Carey while watching the people shoot g guns all over the place, driving off-wheel drive. I can't think oral. of a better way to spend the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's her dream. So if anyone's watching, she just likes to drive <laughs> off a road, listen to Mariah Carey, and be in the countryside. Love my diva, yeah. <laughs> Divas and guns. <laughs> Divas and guns. <laughs> That's Whoa. maybe my next album. It's really folks. bright though. Yeah, maybe you should drive with two hands. <laughs> eh. When got? people are it's, shooting guns. <laughs> I'm like shooting like Uzis and whatever. <laughs> That's nice up here, though. That's it a beautiful view. Look at that. Gorgeous. We gotta get a good picture of my vehicle, right here or something. And they're about to shoot some guns over yonder. Top of West Mountain. This is what it looks like, right? This is what it looks like right here. <laughs> is there any other answer than right? <laughs> right. Right. It looks so nice up here. Why are you beeping at me? Because I don't have my seatbelt on. We're not going anywhere. Beeping beepers. Dumb car. Give it a one star. One star on annoyances for seatbelts. <laughs> right? Oh, it's That's so crazy good. now. It's gonna end though. So nice. Uh huh. Nice, nice, nice. This is something special. This is really beautiful. This is. This rivals a lot of what I've seen out there. And it's so cool, I can drive right here. So nice, there's a little temple I'm trying to get with the big lens, but it's uh, it's windy, as you can tell, I'm sorry. And Alicia is in the truck, because it's cold. The cookie, so you're saying you're doing good. Really good. Yay! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw in a few extra clips from uh, my little review type thing. Here you go. 
Hope you enjoyed all the rest of the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Do whatever you want. I don't really care. I do. I don't. I do. Watch this. Uh, I happen to love how it looks. Uh, that's obviously why I got it. If I thought it looked ugly. Also, I know that I'll probably be replacing parts. I'll probably be replacing this right here, which is cool for people that maybe don't go. I plan on hanging out with my Jeep friends. And so these things look like they're ready to snag onto a rock. And that could be problematic. So I do not have the fancy package. Uh, <laughs> that sounds bad. Uh, I don't have the fancy package for the interior. So this is kind of like the base, as far as I know, it's at least with the TRD Sport, this is the base. The only thing I have is that, uh, is that bar on the side, uh, these, these mats, which I'm sure that they always just like put them in everything and they just, you're gonna get it. You don't choose, you get it. And then uh, the tow package, obviously. All right, the little things for the photographers uh, listening. Um, okay, it's important to have your camera right there. I like it, easy access. Um, down on the floor even. Let's, how do we grab it from the floor? Not too bad. Um, the auto, auto windows are super important for photographers, so that way when you're getting close to your location, you hit that button, you're ready to take pictures out the window, you can grab your, your camera pretty easily anywhere it is on that side, it's not too far away, and then uh, you click, boom, 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 pew, 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 um, shooting through the front window. I know we don't do it too often, but it's uh, something that I, you know, I'm interested in to see what the quality of the window, the front window, because sometimes you're unable to like necessarily turn it around to the side or you don't have time to get out or you're driving, obviously the passenger, and you want to shoot through the front window. What's the quality like of that? And then um, being able to uh, kind of lean out here, take pictures. Uh, I'm going to review and think about how how much the, the truck vibrates because that'll affect the picture. And then the last thing is, um, so that the space in the back isn't as big as like a normal, like the Venza was huge. You had so much space in the back, right? And so I had to reach back so far to get something. So there is a benefit to a shorter, shorter space back here. If I want to get a lens, it's gonna be super easy right there. So I can keep my bag, my F-stop bag here. F-stop, shout out to F-stop. I can keep it right there and it's super easy. I don't even have to look. I can just do do this and uh, you know, grab my new lens. Uh, oh, holy cow, another, they really want you to drink in here because they've got eight drinking things all around here. So this is, oh, let's see if they're big enough for lenses. That's the question. Yeah, so that'll work if I get a cap on this. So I'll grab one of my other ones that has a cap. Here we go. Boom, real fast. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Perfect fit. I am so going to do this so often. How about up here? Done. Dude, I don't even need a, uh, a backpack anymore. I love it. How about up front here? Oh, nope. So you've got these two front ones. Um, let's try another lens. Here's uh yeah, there's an 85, I need a cap on it. It's a little uh, less secure because it's a fattier, fatty lens. And uh, yeah, anyways. That's some interesting things to think about when you're taking pictures. The hood though, it does stick up a little bit so you're gonna have to get up a little higher to get your picture with your phone or whatever, you know. Uh, but if it's about photography, then it's also about where you can get. So let's go get somewhere cool to take a picture of my vehicle and to take pictures of the surrounding interesting mountains without houses in there. Oh, crop out the houses right there. All right. Okay, so that's it for right now. And uh, I'll be back with any other thoughts that I have.